Today on Tech Tip of the Week, we'd like to show you how to install the Fusion Update software. The first thing you want to do is go to the bottom left corner of your screen and bring up your start menu. From there, you will open your internet browser. In your web address bar, type in edgeproducts.com to bring up our website. On the left side of the home page, under the shop online section, find the Fusion Software Download tab and select it. You will notice a notification bar has popped up on the bottom of the screen asking you if you'd like to run or save the file. You will select run and this will initialize the install menu. You are now ready to download the software. By selecting install, the Fusion Setup Wizard will appear on your screen. Keep selecting next until the note appears informing you that the drivers are not Windows logo verified. You will then be informed to please install them anyways. By clicking OK, your install is complete. From here, you're going to want to go to your desktop and locate the Fusion software icon. It looks like one of our product monitors and says Edge in the middle. Once located, double click the icon to open the Fusion software page. You will want to create a new user. By selecting this tab, a new user form will appear. Please fill out the user form by providing the necessary information. Once you are done filling out the form, select Save. You will now need to access your email account and retrieve the password that was sent to you. If you would like to change your password later on, you will need to contact our technical support team at the number on the screen and they can change it for you. After you have received your password, then return to the Fusion page. As you log in, you will use your email address as your username and the password that was given to you. After you have typed these in, go ahead and select Save. You are now ready to begin your product update by connecting your device to launch. Please note that I am using Windows 7 and Google Chrome. Your screen may be different depending on your configurations. We do not support Mac computers at this time. If you need help with anything or have questions, please contact our technical support team and they would be glad to help you out.